Okay, ready to get started scanning. I'm gonna scan this box first, this really old one. It apparently at one time was in Upper Deck Hockey. 93, 94, it was complete, so. Um, luckily for me, that's not what's in here now. Uh, it seems to be that this is some older commons, kind of like all over the place, so. Good a place to start as any. Maybe there are some treasures in here. Nope. Okay, so that was it for that first box. It was a bonus box. You know, that was not shown, so I don't feel too bad about there not being anything inside of it that was good. Some of these boxes here, um, I'm expecting these to have more of the same kind of stuff, just commons. I don't know what my threshold is going to be for cards to show off, but maybe Neheb will beat it too. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Great. Oh, of course we're frozen over here on the pricing. I'm starting to hate that thing. Of course, now to standard fitted pools. Hey, well now we're talking fitted pools. A couple of those. One, two. And oops, Anissa Steward of Elements. Great. Yeah, these are all buck, but a, a couple of disallows. I guess they're less than they used to be when they first came out, but they're still decent, so we'll throw those over there. Metallic Mimic. Another decent card right there. Tireless Tracker, four of those, great. That's a winner. Eight bucks times four. We're getting somewhere. Play set of those. Oh, but a foil explosive vegetation. That might be a different story. There's a regular one. Um, okay, let's scan it again. As a foil, what do you think? Five bucks. Seven fifty-seven for a foil explosive vegetation. Solid. A foil thrag tusk. Wow, cool. This used to be really big and standard. I wonder what a foil goes for on the reprint. Five bucks almost, so that's a decent hit right there. Cool, there are rares and oh yeah. Oh, that's a good rare. That's not one you just leave behind. Goblin guide. Winner, winner. Goblin dinner. Excellent. Okay, we're getting somewhere here. Oh, Parallel Lives. Great. Definitely a little bit played, but that's a good card right there. Great. We're getting somewhere here. 
A foil inquisition of Kozilek. That's probably decent. Looking good there. Different version. Modern Masters. Normal 456. Foil 986. Great. Okay, I'm liking this box now. Foil Gaunti, Lord of Luxury, 35 Death Shadow. That's on its way up right now. 16 bucks. Excellent. And a Whip of Erebos. Another good one. Hero's Downfall. Another good one. Cool. Brymaz, hey. King of Oreskos. He's a mythic. This one's probably decent. Nine bucks. Great. Show him off a rock's faith mender. Good. Hey, we're hitting the goods right here. A I tell you, Maria, the sky ruin. That's good. Heliod, god of the sun. Great. Okay, I'm really liking this box. Uh, let's see. I don't think those are anything but a hanger back walker. That's good too. Cool. Oh, well, that's something. A Sliver Hive Lord. Great. This is one that has been spiking recently. Big time. That's a $25 card. Right on top. Great. And some preordains. Great. I think we saw those when we peeked in the box. One, two of the 2011 version. Dose. 360 on those, put them there. Vincer, Shaper Savant. Hey, that's solid. How much is he worth? That's a bit. Great. Put him over here. box from the beginning with all of that stuff none of this was shown on the listing so I'm gonna start going through this next and hopefully pull enough out of here to break even and then some and then I can open up a sealed box 
That'd be fine. Well, I'll start with this little stack right here with this defense of the heart. Since that's the one we saw when I opened it. So, definitely like moderate play. But it's a $15 card. If it was mint or near mint. So that's, that's a good big first hit here. Whoa! A Sea Chrome Coast. Yes, I'm hoping to find a bunch of good stuff in this box then based on on uh, our, just right on the top already seeing some good cards. So uh, This is exciting. World Breaker. Another decent mythic. Might have to like make more piles if it's all like this. Really end up being Stonehoof Chieftain, 11 bucks. So there's some commander stuff in here. This is really starting to look good. Lava Axe and a Moldrotha, the Grave Tide. Oh my. Three bucks. So uh, someone opened a bunch of Dominaria and pulled the good stuff, and then it got left here. All right. Goblin Chain Whirler. Sweet. Grand Warlord, oh good, we're, we're doing okay here. Grand Warlord Rada, and some Hinterland Harbors, and Isolated Chapels, okay, this is the goods right here. Five bucks, one, two, three, four of those. Hey, we're, uh, did we hit it? Nope, almost to 387. Isolated Chapel and a Squee the Immortal. Not quite. Oops. Steel Leaf Champion. Six of those. Unbelievable. Buck 50. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. That's going to put us over our break even point. 390 we've broken even and we've barely scratched the surface on this I'm um, feeling really good um, Now the next goal we got to hit 737 to be able to open that Innistrad box. Let's go It's looking like a good possibility another chapel Vanquisher's Banner. I think that's a good one. Yeah. Got two of these here. Drowned Catacomb. Very cool. We got an Ulamog. The Ceaseless Hunter. Hunger. Awesome. Very cool. Just in the middle of all this. A $26 Mythic. Excellent. More of those, please.
Nope. Necropotence. It's all beat up, but it is a good Ice Age card. Um, yeah, I mean, it's got like enough of a bend to it that... And I don't know if that would be damaged, but it's definitely heavy, heavy play. I'm going to pull it. I'm going to show it off. There it is. Exploration. Now we're talking. This is the Urza Saga rares. Let's leave all of those behind. So this one is a little beat, but it should still be about a $30 card. Yes. Lava spikes are good too. Three of those, okay. Couple of Bane Fires. M19 Bane Fire. Times two. There we go. And some Simeon Spirit Guides. One, two, three, four of those. Great. Baral, Chief of Compliance. Five bucks. Alright, that one's pickable. Yeah, and Gifted Aetherborn is decent too. Heroic Intervention. Okay, this is some good stuff from Kaladesh and Aether Revolt. And there's a Paradox Engine. Really bright there. 21 bucks. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Canopy Vista. Spire Garden. Battle Bond Lands. Huh? What do these do? I've never actually looked at them. Let's see here. Spire Garden enters the battlefield tapped unless you have two or more opponents. Oh, okay, it's really good for Commander too, right? One, two of those. Disrupt Decorum. Eight bucks. And there's two of those, okay. Wow, we're really getting somewhere now. Uh, Ancient Ziggurat, and look what else I just found. Queen Marchesa. 17. Sweet. Absolutely sweet, and now we're back to the trash, oh no. <laughs> but look, we just need another 12 bucks to break enough to open that Innistrad box, so I am really looking forward to that. So, come on, what else you got?
see what card is going to push us over the top here to be able to open that Innistrad box. Temple of Epiphany, probably not enough. We just need another, wait, another dollar. Is it this Hydra Broodmaster? It is. We hit 737. Enough to open that Innistrad box. So I am really stoked about that. Now, the stretch goals for this Kickstarter. I got to hit 1237 now to open that box of Modern Masters 2013. So let's get a start on that with this Chandra. It's got like some on it. Okay, there we go. Just came right off. Chandra Pyromancer. Buck 32. But a world spine worm. That's a good card. It's a good finisher. Teleria West on 15 bucks. Awesome. We got two Monastery Mentors. Great. Two of those is frozen. 9.52 each. Great. Um, oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Engineered Explosives? That's awesome. So that's a little played. I don't think I've ever found one of the originals. That's very cool. $53 minus some condition issues right here. So boy, that would have been 80, 90 bucks like a year ago whenever, before Ultimate Masters came out. That's the, the big winner right now. That's the most expensive card I've found so far. Can we top it? And it puts us a lot closer to our goal of 1237 to open up that next box, the Modern Masters 2013 box. So, yeah, it looks like there's some good stuff here. Some Hydro Blasts and some Pyro Blasts. So, a couple of those. A couple of those. Oh, I might have hit the, the jackpot because look what's right here. Oh, okay, now we're talking couple of fluster storms 13 bucks each one two search for Azcanta two of those and a Caracas yeah okay scanning time 14 bucks there times two and some ponders so this Caracas getting in play condition 
the last one I found like this back in my collection of uh, pre-constructed decks uh, was in better condition than this but I will always take a Legends Caracas whenever I find it let's see can I scan it but being $74.31 still holds a bit of value apparently um, it's just an uncommon can you believe that imagine if that was rare okay we're getting there Path of Ancestry from Commander. Wow, for a common, 653. Decent, what does it do? Path of Ancestry enters the battlefield tap. Tap it to add to your mana pool one mana of any color in your commander's color identity, right? When your mana is spent to cast a creature spell that shares a creature type with your commander, scry one. That's good, that's a decent one. Let's put it over here. Uh, cool. Herald's Horn from Commander. Also a good one. Wow, 13 bucks. I think I'd seen one of these before. As Herald's Horn enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creature spells you cast of the chosen type cost one less to cast. The beginning of your upkeep. Look at the top card of the library. If it's a creature card of the chosen type, you may reveal it and put it into your hand. Right. Yes, yes, I had seen that before. Wow, okay, cool. We're getting somewhere. Blood Chin, a Blue Sun Zenith, and a Training Grounds. That's cool. A couple bucks there. Training Grounds are good. Whoops. 18 bucks yeah they're very good 18 bucks uh luxury suite from battle bond i'm not familiar with the battle bond lands but that one's good eight bucks there chaos warp two bucks there slippery bogle whoa now i'm familiar with that card that's a buck on the bogle doubling season mythic from battle bond Oh, look at the art too. I love that Colosseum there. That's cool. It is. It is a $39 card. We are really getting somewhere now, people. Cool. Put that there. Um, yeah, we're almost to my goal to open that Modern Masters box. Great. Well, we got some squid tokens. That's not going to help me. I'll hammer it. Archive. Great. Hey. 14 bucks there. Got a shared animosity and a flooded grove. Great. Shared animosity from Explorers of Ixalan. That's like out of a like one of those clash packs, right? I think. Do I know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Flooded Grove. That's good too. Five bucks there. Chronic flooding. Those are nothing. Wrath of God though, that's good. Oh! 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 Yeah! Okay, we hit the goods here. Uh, it doesn't get much better than that. Place at a force of will. Sick! Alright, these got a little corner problems there. Alright, back up, right? Let's, let me scan my Wrath of God. Well, it's a uh, 10th edition, nine bucks. Yeah, okay, Force of Will from Alliances times one is 79 bucks still. There's four. Well, guess what? That does it. That puts me well over my amount that I needed to be able to open up that box of Modern Masters. I'll do it. I'll open it. Um, and but for now I'll enjoy my new playset of Force of Will. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Oh, this one's got a little bit of creasing and stuff on the top. Guess what? I'll be very happy to take 40, 50 bucks for these. 
we'll see what I can get on the appropriate selling channel. Wow, I'm out of room to show off cool stuff. There they go. That'll be a good thumbnail. Maybe. I don't want to spoil anything. Entreat the angels and some terminuses. Those are good too. Got a buck 89 times two there. Terminus. Three bucks there. Let's see, it's the Avison version. Four bucks. One, two, three. I almost don't want to spoil what the next card is. It's a Gideon. Okay. There's four Terminuses. Okay. Put those here. Sure. Got a Gideon and a Counterbalance. Okay. We're really into the goods here for whatever this box of stuff was three well, I'm sorry two counterbalance 13 bucks each unexpectedly absent I have a feeling that's gonna be an okay card too I'm not sure um, oh yeah we're really cooking containment priest <laughs> totally wrong about unexpectedly absent that's funny is the commander version any better no it's not Oh well, I'll take Containment Priests and Path to Exiles instead. Three bucks for the Ultimate Masters version, but the Commander 2014 version is 447. Eh, I don't know where to put it. There it goes. Path to Exile and a Wear and Tear. Seven bucks. Let me just check the Conflux version is 891. Awesome. So Wear and Tear should be like a buck, maybe almost two bucks, and we've seen them before. Council's Judgment from uh, Conspiracy. So I'm not familiar with this card. I've never drafted Conspiracy. Uh, I'm going to guess it's an okay card. <sighs> yeah, I guessed right. There's two of those. And I got some Spell Snares. Loving it. Having a great time here. Thanks for stopping by. Couple of those. It's all downhill from there. Recruiter of the Guard. That's good. Yeah. 20 bucks uh, which card should I cover up how about my engineered explosives and cryptolith right it's four dollars Ah, another Teleria West. But being it's 15 bucks. There. Ashen Rider from Theros. A couple bucks there. Remand. Okay, every card I flip over right now is pretty decent. Isochron Scepter. There's a good uncommon from Mirrodin. Six bucks. Savage beating is pretty good. Seven bucks there. There it is in a paradox engine. But being we found one of those before, right? It was somewhere, and I think it was worth a bit. So there it goes. Amazing. Whoa. Okay, archetype of aggression. I don't think it was much. No. Not bad for an uncommon. Foil Cephalid Coliseum. I don't know. I mean, as a foil, it's probably pretty good. I don't remember if it was a good card just on its own. Let's see. Two seventy nine for the regular version. The foil version is twelve bucks for a foil Cephalid Coliseum. Right there, get a Soul Ring. Three bucks there, and a Manamo School at Water's Edge. This which this should be pretty good. Yeah, does twenty-four dollars count as pretty good? I think it does. Hey, Cyclonic Rift. Well, that's a good card. Definitely going up right now. Uh, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Um, now at this point, I didn't make another stretch goal. I've made now five hundred bucks more than what I needed for that Modern Masters box. I'm think I'm just gonna go ahead and open that Iconic Masters box. Um, I don't know. If I get a lot more, maybe I'll open one of those boxes of Guild Pact. I'm not sure. 
I don't know if I really want to open a box of Judgment. Uh, there's not much in there. <laughs> uh, Court of Calling. I'll just shut up and look at cards from now. Uh, you're welcome. 891. Great. 